Ah, it's good to be back. I miss this place. The smell of shell casings and whiskey take me back to a time when I used to debunk statists, talk about liberty, and upload regularly. Ah, those were the days. For those of you that don't already know this, I've been gone a while. The reason I was gone for so long was a combination of personal drama, schoolwork, surgery, and laziness. But I'm back now, and better than ever, and hopefully I'll be able to get back to regular uploads again. For now though, I'd like to dedicate this video to the thing I miss most about making videos. Debunking batshit insane beliefs commonly held by the general population. Yay! <laughs> Now, a wise man once said that sacred cows make the best burgers, so let's curve stomp these commonly held status beliefs and have ourselves a little cookout. Let's start with voting. No, your votes don't matter, and even if they did, you're forcing your opinion onto the entire country using an appeal to popularity fallacy. So stop pretending that organized mob rule is what makes society free. The next sacred cow ripe for the slaughter is this little gem. Without the government, who would protect the environment? Newsflash, idiots, the government is the worst thing for the environment you could possibly have. Why? because the state doesn't have any incentive to keep up the land that they own, whereas private entities have every incentive to because they either live or work on the land and depending on its use, the destruction of it could devalue it. Don't believe me? Look at the lakes in the Soviet Union. They're so polluted that no living thing can go anywhere near them. Not only that, but this chart courtesy of Shane Killian shows a correlation between economic freedom and better environments. Next up, we have the war on poverty. Statists love to boast about how progressive policies like welfare and food stamps reduced poverty. However, all that these programs did was incentivize single parenthood, effectively destroying the black family structure, and leaving behind thousands of children that will never know their fathers, resulting in higher rates of violent crime and a perpetuation of violence and poverty that has left millions impoverished and dependent on the system. Progressive politics aren't merciful. If anything, they're akin to slavery. Except instead of stealing the fruits of their labor, you're stealing stealing their vote, by keeping them dependent on politicians willing to give them free handouts. Another sacred status cow in need of a pneumatic air piston to the head, and yes, that's actually how they slaughter cows, this idea that the state freed the slaves is complete and total bullshit. First of all, it was the government that legitimized the ownership of human beings in the first place. It's the state that helped stop slave rebellions and brought runaway slaves back to the South. Second of all, no one living under statism is truly free. We are all slaves to the plantation of government. Think about it. If taking 100% of a man's income is slavery, then at what percentage is he no longer a slave? The answer is that everyone has self-ownership, therefore, taking any percentage of someone's income without their consent is slavery and cannot be justified. The state is not your friend. I don't know how many times I have to explain this before people understand that government causes more problems than it solves. Status on both the right and the left seem to have this retarded ass belief that anytime there's a problem, that the government is the only solution, when in reality it just causes more problems. Don't like gun violence? Ban guns. Don't like illegal immigrants? Build a wall. Want to end poverty? Just give them welfare. Afraid corporations are gonna shut down free speech online? Just get the government involved. This insane idea that government is the solution to all problems has resulted in the flaming pile of garbage that is the modern world. Gun control has done nothing to reduce crime and has left thousands of law-abiding citizens defenseless. The wall would cost taxpayers billions, but the problem could be easily solved by removing institutions that incentivized illegal immigration like welfare, Medicare, and minimum wage. The war on poverty has destroyed countless lives and has incentivized destitution. Meanwhile, private charities have helped thousands of impoverished families get back on their feet and reclaim their independence. And the very same corporations that are censoring dissenting opinions wouldn't even be in business if it hadn't been for the government subsidies ensuring that Google, Facebook, and YouTube would stay in business regardless of being in the red for years. So no, the solution isn't to get government involved in a problem it caused. The only solution is to patronize competitors and stop the government subsidization of businesses. So there you have it, folks. Five sacred status cows butchered and barbecued for your enjoyment. And before I get 50 vegans yelling in my comment section about animal cruelty, this 
is a fucking metaphor. And I can say what I want. So go huff glue and paint an abstract butterfly or something, you filthy fucking hippies. Anyway, that'll do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and sorry again that this took so long. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. And until next time, this has been AmeriCap, your friendly neighborhood American capitalist. Good night, everybody! Hey guys, it's me again, and thanks for staying to the end of the video. I'm really sorry this video took so long to make, but I promise I'll try my best to make regular uploads again. I'd like to once again thank my patron Kalela for supporting my channel, and if you'd like to become a patron as well, there will be a link to my Patreon in the description below. And if you like my videos, but don't like YouTube, then be sure to visit my BitChute. Oh, and I have a Discord server now, so click the invite link below to join.